hello and welcome to my channel so this is not going to be a vlog this is going to be a video about how to manage a holiday in london on crutches or probably like wheelchair if you want to but i injured my foot after i booked my holiday and i was like mm, should i cancel or should i go anyway and i decided to go so i got nine really nice tips for how you can manage a holiday. So number one is upgrade your seat. If you already booked your flight, you can upgrade your seat or change it. So you have um, an aisle seat instead of like a window seat or a middle one, because you can stretch your leg a little bit and you can um, easily access your luggage or go to the toilet or anything. So um, also it's good to have like quite front seats or back seats so easy to get on and off so yeah that's one and number two is you can book a special transfer at the airport for free usually so i didn't book anything in skavsta in in sweden because the airport is quite small but uh when i came to stansted i hadn't really booked anything i knew you could but i hadn't done it and so i was like yeah i'll, I'll manage but the airport crew was so nice so they saw me struggling and they told me that already booked a special transfer for an, another lady who had, was also injured or old I don't really know yeah she couldn't walk that much um yeah so i was able to go on that so they took me by the car first from the air from the the flight to the um like the airport and once we got there there was um a special like wheelchair so I just flew by the whole the whole airport and there was like a special gate for passports and stuff where you could they just switched you by and they took my luggage and they just dropped me off um, next to the lift down to the, the train. So that was really good. Yeah. And number three is um, check that the hotel wherever you're staying has a lift. So so many places in London like hotels they don't have one and it's really awkward so if you have already booked just make sure and you could probably on like um rebook to another place if it hasn't got a lift that's just really easy makes it everything just so much easier yeah and number four is if you want to go on the tube um then you can you can look at the maps um, you can also download on your phone because um, there's so many, well not many, but there's quite a few stations that's got step free access, which is really good. And you can see it because it's like a little symbol, like a blue and white symbol with a wheelchair on it. So it means either it's got escalators or um, usually like, I think it usually means a lift. And it's sometimes you have to look for the lifts, but usually it's quite, it's signed, like a signed like a lift here and there so yeah that's one but I also have my fifth tips is do not whatever you do do not change between Hammersmith and City line to Victoria line at King's Cross because you have to even though it's step free all the way but you have to walk so far and I didn't know and oh, that was just I was like out for the whole day afterwards not worth it not worth it no no okay so number six if you are a theater nerd musical nerd like me and you want to go to a theater or show of some kind there's actually a folder you can download which shows the accessibility at different theaters i'm going to put the link in the description um and it's really good because it tells you like um like like i went to the apollo theater in Shaftesbury Avenue I went to see everyone's talking about Jamie such a good show such a good show about a teenage boy who wanted to become a drag queen really good and they actually had um so I booked the stalls which is like slightly down but um yeah they had like a stair lift which is <laughs> I could go they, they told me to wait and then there's a guy coming out and it's like open a special door for me and I had to step onto this stair lift and um, yeah he was so nice and it took me all the way to my seat but it was a bit steep like the 
the floor there was no no steps or anything but the floor was just a bit um like like this um but it, it worked it worked anyway yeah so that's quite good and number seven is um if you can if you if you're not scared of using buses do that because they can tell they're really good and you can you can always um ask for a seat if anyone sitting who maybe can stand don't be afraid to ask for a seat that's what i'm saying it really helps and also taxis taxis are really good and it's not that expensive i took a taxi uh from just off oxford street to um to the theater to shaftesbury avenue and it wasn't that far it cost like maybe four pounds or something i think i gave a little tip as well because it was such a short distance so it's not it's not that it's not it's, it's not very i mean yeah it costs money but it's not it's not that expensive so yeah that would be really good absolutely and number eight is all about shopping so if you have to use two crutches sometimes you can use them maybe one use a backpack yeah use a really good backpack because then you don't have to carry anything and yeah that is so useful i've done that and also um there's lots of shopping centers like in london there's two shopping centers called westfield one is at the the west end of the northern of the um oh central line and the other one uh, in the east and they're both called westfield but they're so good huge and they have inside there's like all flat surfaces and um there's escalators or lifts everywhere so that's that is my ninth tips is to go to shopping centers because yesterday i went into oxford street for a little bit and it worked but i wouldn't recommend it no anyway so i really hope these nine tips could be quite good for someone who wants to have a holiday in london or i mean these work everywhere i guess um yeah so that's good enjoy bye bye